In this day and age, everybody takes care of the environment. Some more elaborately than others. People harvest rainwater. Clock their showers. Flushing. Only when absolutely necessary. Though despite valiant efforts, this is just the tip of the iceberg. In order to change the way we think about our water use, we need to take a closer look at our entire water footprint, which goes beyond our toilets and taps. If the energy required to turn on our lights alters the natural state of a fragile ecosystem because of the water flow being disrupted in order to generate that electricity, if only one of your favorite t-shirts spends 2,900 liters of fresh water irrigating the cotton fields it was made from, which would have otherwise fed a thirsty river or lake. If just one slice of bread adds 40 liters of fresh water to your personal footprint, then we might have a problem that can't only be solved by our direct household water use. The good news is, knowing your water footprint exists is the first step to making a difference. By beginning to think and see blue in everything we consume and use, the greater our ability to reduce the impact of our water footprint. Every action we take to reduce our water footprint, both big and small, helps to improve the overall well-being of our rivers and lakes. The World Wildlife Fund is working with people, businesses and governments to help reduce Canada's water footprint in order to protect and restore the health of our freshwater ecosystems. To learn more about how you can help, visit www.fund.org. C.A.